Hello, everybody. Once again, this summer, Hard Ranch is hosting the Wild West Wednesdays Rodeo. It features some of the top up and coming cowboys and cowgirls in the region, along with a mix of veterans. And tonight, everyone saddled up for a big performance. Now, the fans did have to dodge a few raindrops out at Hard Ranch. Bareback riding will start it out with a Porcupine's Jet Knight. He holds on for the full eight seconds and earns a 70 for his efforts. Next up is Cooney Tables' Stephen DeWolf. He's a veteran out at Wild West Wednesdays, and Stephen delivers with a nice 75-point ride. Now to Sturgis's Cashton Ford. This guy just graduated high school, but he's competing with the big boys as Cashton rides his way to an 80. Now let's go to Rapid City's Reigns Provost, and the hometown cowboy gives the fans something to cheer about as he picks up an 80. 81 point ride. That was the top bareback ride of the night. The Wild West Wednesdays at Rodeo rolls on each and every Wednesday through August 16th down at Hart Ranch. In the world of Legion Baseball, Spearfish dropped a doubleheader on the road tonight, falling to Watertown 9 to 4 and 16 to 5. The Gillette Legion Baseball team won a tight game up in North Dakota, knocking off Jamestown 5 to 4. The Rough Riders will now head to Minnesota, where they open up play at the Gopher Classic on Friday. And in the Independence League tonight, the Sasquatch earned a nice 5 1 road victory over the Casper Spuds. The same two teams will meet up Friday in Spearfish. The post 22 baseball team knocked off next level baseball from out of North Carolina five to four to win the firecracker tournament yesterday. Harrison good. Well, he was good. He had a two run walk off Homer to give the hard hats the victory post 22 is now 36 and 19 on the season. It will begin playing at the Gopher Classic as well in Minnesota on Friday. Timely hitting proved to play a key role in the hard hats winning the firecracker. You have to approach every at bat the same. You know, you, it, whether it's the first inning or the seventh inning, whether there's nobody on or two guys on and you need both of them to tie the game or win the game, you have to approach it the same way. And that's where we just harp on competing, competing, competing. If you're going to compete, uh, you're going to be fine. You know, we can't we can't talk about two out, you know, uh, hitting. Um, last year, that's what won us the state tournament. And we didn't say a word about it. Um, the Sunday, we won two games. Every RBI we dr uh, drove in, we came with two outs. And so uh, it's just something that when you compete, you're going to be fine whatever inning of the, of the game it is. Now the Belfouche Legion baseball team ran into a little bit of trouble at the Rushmore Classic last week, dropping all four games. Post 32 got the bats going in the tourney finale against Colorado Rogue, scoring plenty of runs, but the Belfouche pitchers couldn't keep Rogue off the board as the team from Colorado won 14 to 12. Now this evening, Post 32 dropped game one of a doubleheader to the Gillette Wrestlers 11 to four, but bounced back to win game two, eight to seven. Well, let's jump on in for another edition of Big Ol' Fish. And tonight, Charles Cummings III is our featured angler. Charles recently reeled in this six-pound largemouth bass out of Kyle Dab. Congratulations, Charles, and best of luck in the rest of your fishing endeavors. You, too, can be featured on Big Ol' Fish. Just send us your picture by using the Submit Photos link at CodaTV.com. Make sure and give us the full name of the person who caught the fish, what kind of fish it is, how big it is, and where it was caught. Get those pictures in, and we'll get you on Big Ol' Fish. A little cooler temperatures than normal this time of the year. I'm betting that makes for good uh, fishing conditions. Get out there and get yourself on Big Ol' Fish. And you have some more scores for us. Do have some more scores for you. Major League Baseball tonight. The Rockies came up on the short end, falling to the Astros six to four. The Twins got a big win. They they defeated the Royals five to nothing. Pablo Lopez a complete game shutout, striking out twelve for Minnesota. Well, who has bragging rights for the biggest water?